Hey everybody, what's going on? Zuri the Elysian Lemur, Dusty Mill here, and we're back with another well, not so live Wi Fi battle. I think I got like one more after this that I recorded that will not be live. I have to apologize right now if you can hear my fan. I got my fan on. Uh, I can do like a noise removal thing on Audacity and see if I can get rid of most of the noise if it's not that annoying. But it's like 90 degrees in my house, and yeah, the fan is staying on. So, I got a match with my uh, with, uh, Mr. Jeremiah here, I've had a few matches with him before. He actually, I was looking for a battle and he said uh, he'd do it. He challenged me to a battle, we had the exact same teams, but what I didn't realize until like the match was damn near over was that he challenged me to Pokemon like that, what their level is. So all of his are level 100, all of mine are pretty much level 50 except for like two. So, I'm sitting here getting destroyed by Staraptor. I'm like, oh my god, this thing's a beast! And then I looked up, I'm like, oh wait, it's level 100. Oh, that explains a lot, actually. So, we got a rematch. Pokemon are set to level 50. I'm in this for revenge! Let's do this! Alright, so, he's issuing the challenge. I think, uh, we let off the same, I'm not sure. I think, I, I know I let off the same. I let off with the Tyrantrum. Uh, I believe last time he let off, yeah, okay, last time he let off with Gardevoir. And that's, uh, so we led the exact same. I didn't want to, like, change it up or whatever. So, I then switched to Weezing, which was the exact same play I made last time. And he goes for Hypnosis this time. I'm like, oh! Oh, he put me to sleep. Okay, because last time I switched to this, so he probably knew I was going to do that. And I'm like, alright, well, I'll just try and go for, like, Sludge Bomb or whatever. He goes for Dream Eater and kills my Weezing immediately. I was like, what? Oh. Uh, oh! Dream Eater Gardevoir. I've never seen that before. I took this opportunity to switch in my Houndoom, because even though I am a... I, oh, I'm not weak to Fairy. I, uh... I am neutral, I believe, to Fairy. Houndoom takes neutral from Fairy. And I just go right for Sludge Bomb. Like, you know what? No, I go for Nasty Plot, but I'd rather go for Sludge Bomb. Houndoom's not the fastest thing out there. I'll just go for Sludge Bomb, try and take it out the best I can. He goes for Moon Blast. It does a little over half. I'm like, oh, okay, that's a little too much to cut for comfort. There's another Sludge Bomb. Take it out to Gardevoir. Get that stupid dress thing out of here. Gardevoir's gone. And then he goes out into football, which is the Staraptor, which gave me so much trouble before. He could have gone for close combat and honestly taken out my Tyrantrum as I switch it out to it, but I didn't know if he wanted to do that. I wasn't exactly thinking he would want to do that. I was kind of hoping he'd want to go for Brave Bird, and I resist it like times four or something like that. Or times two, I'm not sure. I can't remember. I don't know. If, I don't think Dragon resists flying. I'm not sure. I don't think, I don't think so. But he went for the Brave Bird, so I'm like, okay, that's good. I'm Choice Scarfed, so this thing's dead. That Ice Fang, it's dead. There's no way it's living. So Tyrantrum gets a kill. I switch out Tyrantrum as he brought in the uh, Swampert. Go out into Go-Goat. I got Mr. Go-Goat here. And I'm like, oh, this, this is gonna do a lot, this is gonna do a lot. It does nothing! He ate it up! He just ate up that freaking Ice Beam. He knows. He's like, my owner is in this for revenge after being destroyed by level 100s. He went for Typhlosion, little f unfortunately for him. I predicted that and went right for Rock Slide. I don't quite get the kill, but it does a good amount of damage, actually. And I don't think I can take... I might be able to take a hit from that Typhlosion, but I really need Go-Goat for the Swampert. So I just switch him out, I'm like, you know, let's go to Tyrantrum. I do time, I'm pretty sure I times four resist a fire type move this time around. He goes for the Flamethrower. Does nothing at all. He withdraws the Typhlosion. I think I just went for Crunch, trying to get some damage off on whatever he wanted to bring out. So I get the crunch, I was kind of hoping a little too for like a defense drop or something like that, and I don't think I get, no, I, I just go for another crunch. I'm like, you know what, I'll just sack off my Tyrantrum here, I'll be able to probably take out whatever. I just go for crunch. I'm pretty much here just sacking off my Tyrantrum right now, just getting crunches, hoping for defense drops. He brought out his defensive wall and I get the defense drop. I'm like, oh, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing right there. Okay, so he goes... He goes in Mega Evolves, into Mega Aggron, diaper boy there, because he looks like he's wearing a freaking diaper. 
I just go for another crunch. I'm like, you know what? His defense probably he got boosted when he mega evolved, but he's also at minus one. I'll just go for another one. He goes for Dragon Tail. I think I live this barely. Yeah, I Tyrandrum barely lives it. He gets forced out, and out comes little Fampy. Out comes little Fampy. He goes for Earthquake on my little Fampy here, and I go for counter. Look at this. Look at this! Look at this! Fampy taking out a Mega Agron! Ah, oh, Freaking Fampy, man. Freaking Fampy. He brought out the Jolteon, and I think here I'm like, you know what, I'm probably dead to this thing anyways. I don't know if he's gonna want to go for Thunderbolt or whatever, I'm just going for Ice Shard and do as much damage as I can. I'm part ground, I'm immune to that. I'm just gonna keep going for Ice Shard, I probably would've been better to switch into something, I, I don't really know. My Fampy's not much use, now that... it Pretty much Fampy, his whole job is to come out, get hit, use counter or whatever another move is, and then, uh... Use Ice Shard if need be. So I just bring out the Go Go. He goes for Volt Switch. It does absolutely nothing. Like nothing at all. My Go Go just ate it up. Just eating it up. And he goes out into Typhlosion, which I kind of thought he was going to, but just to be safe, I just went for Horn Leech, anyways. So Horn Leech right in the face. I get an eensy tiny bit of health back. But with leftovers, I think that. I don't think it'll take me. No, nah, I don't think it'll take me up. Oh! I did not- I I didn't even realize he had the Rocky Helmet while I was recording this. I did not even know he had Rocky Helmet. That's kind of odd. But, Go Goat goes back to me, and out comes Tyrantrum to sack him off. Like, you know what, let's go to Tyrantrum, you know what, he can just die, it's whatever. He goes for Focus Blast! My oh! Oh! Okay! Yeah, Tyrantrum's dead. Tyrantrum falls, very unfortunately. And I bring out Caracosta. I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're doing this. And I just go right for Aqua Jet. Unfortunately, I broke my Sturdy, but... I, I just had... I wanted to get the Aqua Jet off and hurt it and kill it and just maim it and get it out of here. So, he brings out Jolteon, and I think... I can't remember... Okay, I was like, I just go right for the Aqua Jet. And... doesn't kill. Doesn't quite kill. I couldn't remember... I was gonna say, I can't remember if I, like... I know I died to a thunder from this thing, but I could not remember exactly what happened. Like, I, I couldn't really remember if, uh, if I went for Waterfall because I didn't realize he had the Rocky Helmet or whatever, because I, I completely forgot. But he, went, he goes for Shadow Ball, does nothing, does nothing. I go for Horn Leash, just get a little HP back. Jolteon is dead. Look at this HP, look at this bit. oh, oh, mm, 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 that's nice, that's nice right there. And... And, here we go. Here we go. I believe the only Pokemon he has left is Swampert, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's only got the Swampert. So, he brings out the Swampert, and he goes for Ice Beam. Alright, I'm like, okay, I can take that, Go-Go. I can take this. this is for revenge, Go-Go! This is for revenge! <sighs> freeze. He gets the Freeze. I'm like, oh! Hmm! Go-Go! This was for my revenge! My revenge! And you get frozen! Why would you do this? I'm like, you know what? There's a 10% chance you can thaw out. It's unlikely, but it does happen. Some people thaw out, you know. So, go, go. Let's see if you can get... No, you can't thaw this turn. Alright, well... There's always next turn. My last Pokemon can't take out Swamper. I can't even remember who it is. And, uh... Yeah, so he goes for another Ice Beam. Like, alright. So there's another Ice Beam, I'll be able to eat that up, I'll probably be able to take one more, especially after, you know, the leftovers and all that stuff, he didn't even kill me this time. So, I'll be able to take another one of those, and Frozen Solid! Hooray! I think my last one is... Houndoom, I think, I think it's Mega Houndoom. So it goes for another Ice Beam, Go-Goat falls, Go-Goat fucked me, because he got frozen. The actual odds of being frozen, like, really, Go Goat, really. We had this one! I'm like, alright, I'll bring out Houndoom. I can go for Nasty Plot and just hope, but that's it. I'd die anyways. So I'm like, you know what, I'll just go for Dark Pulse, hope I can get the flinch. Guess who can't get the flinch? Me! Guess who loses? Me! All because of a freeze. Pokemon gods, I don't know what I did to anger them, but they just don't like me, apparently. Because... I had the match won with that Go-Go, and he's like, nah, 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 you're gonna get frozen. Go-Goat, why would you do this to me? 
We had it won! Ah! Well, can't help it. Sometimes you win because of hacks, sometimes you lose because of hacks, sometimes you lose because Go Goat's a piece of garbage and likes to get frozen. Anyways, he's actually, uh, he's not too bad. He's not a super big piece of garbage, but you know what? He's, uh. Nah, he's a piece of garbage. He's just a giant piece of garbage. He got frozen, and it cost me the game. It's his fault. But it was a fun game. You know, I'll have uh, my friend Jeremiah here. His link, his Twitter link will be in the description and all that stuff. You know, you guys know the drill. But we're going to end this one off here. So I want to thank you guys for watching. From Zuri the Elysian Lemur, I'm Dusty Mill. Bye, everybody.